headed down to Skiero Audubon Park. This was a video that I had tried to start the last time we went to Marnes Road, but we didn't actually end up getting over to Skiodo Audubon Park. So if you haven't seen that video already, you can go check that one out. I'll put a little cart thing up here. Ah, that was interesting. So it's just Jed and I today. It's We realized it's been a quick minute since it's just been a him and I trip. Skiodo Audubon Park is an outdoor rock climbing park, but with plastic holds, so it's like an indoor gym, but outside. It looks kind of cool based on the pictures. So yeah, we're driving down there right now and I'll check back with you guys in a few. The park is located in the middle of downtown Columbus at one of Ohio's many metro parks. All you had to do to climb was fill out a waiver and you were all set. There were three lead routes, top ropes, and auto belays, all 30 feet tall, plus some bouldering. There were lots of rangers roaming around to make sure everyone was being safe. Jed and I tried out one of the lead routes. Something unique about this place was that there weren't really any established routes, so you kind of just climbed whatever. Jed got this belay retrieval device called a Firefly, and we wanted to test it out. Firefly to try and recover the uh, gear and see if that works. Jed's very excited about his Firefly. Your gear is on the wall. You open up these screws a little bit so you got some room. Then uh, slide it over the gate of your carabiner. Okay. I'm putting it a little bit below halfway and tightening it back up. Then we take our the string that came with it through the gate, I mean through the bolt, down through the center of this, so you want it in between there, and then carabiner it. Then when you pull this string down, it opens the gate, dumps the carabiner, and falls to the ground. <laughs> So this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna laugh when this doesn't work. Oh, I was proven wrong. And that, folks, is how you can be a horrible climber and still get your gear back. I gave the route a shot, and although it didn't look very difficult, it proved to be a lot harder than I anticipated. Clouds are really cool today. What happened? I unclipped the rope and it clipped my harness. Oh. And then I was like, I can't, and then I was like, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we decided to try a crack climb. 
It was insane how much detail went into creating the plastic features on the rock. To round out the day, we did some bouldering. One of my favorite parts about Skyoto Audubon Park was all of the funky looking holes. It was really cute because a girl brought her bunny and I've never seen a bunny on a leash before but her bunny was like hopping around uh, playing in the grass so that was really really cute. Also, really randomly, I saw the guy that sold me my shoes. He was the guy that worked at REI and he was the one that sold me my shoes. And I was like, hey man, thanks for the shoes. And him and I actually got into a, a conversation. And he said that the other day he was climbing at this park and he got to the top of the wall and realized that he wasn't clipped into the auto boy at all. Like he was just free soloing accident accidentally. So he said he grabbed the webbing for the auto belay and just wrote it down and he showed me a picture, his hand was like all tore up. So this is your friendly court climbs reminder to always make sure that you're clipped in because yeah, his hand did not look great. For dinner, we grabbed some barbecue from a food truck called The Pit. That's a saucy shot. <laughs> Pretty good. It's got like a nice dry rub on it and then they coat it in the sauce too. Mm -hmm. So this is the end of the video. Overall, we really, really enjoyed climbing at Ski to Audubon Park. And if you're in the area, I would highly recommend it, especially when the weather is beautiful like it was today. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.